Hey guys, Spicy here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can do a zoom in and a zoom out transition in Sony Vegas Pro. So first of all, drag your clips into your timeline, uh, and then just check if there's any black bars. So on this clip I have black bars, so just click on the start of the clip, and then go to pan and crop, right click anywhere in this uh, square, and do match output aspect, and that will get rid of the black bars. So to do the transition, you want to have the sapphire effects. You can download them. Well, I'll just look around YouTube because there's probably a tutorial somewhere. But go to S underscore Blurmo curves, drag on the default, and then first of all, you want to go to wrap X and wrap Y, and then change them both to reflect. That removes the black bars when it's zooming out. Uh, so then on the first clip, you want to uh, click this little clock next to Z dist. This is basically zoom in and zoom out. So drag uh, the little time thing to the end on this little timeline uh, in the effects panel and we'll do zoom in first. So change it to anywhere between 0.7 and 0.5. So I'll just change it to 0.6. And then this is personal preference. Uh, I go back between like four and eight frames. So just click the left arrow key I'm going to go back, I'll go back 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then just change the value to 1, and then just scroll up on the timeline, that will zoom in for you, uh, and then go to the, the second to last keyframe, and change it to slow, uh, this makes it go in faster at the end, so it just makes it a lot smoother uh, when you see the end product, so then drag it onto your second clip, uh, and then click on the clock next to Z-Dist again, zoom in a bit, and then you want to match this first value to the end value on the uh, on this clip. So the value on this was 0.6, which is 0.4 away from 1. So change this one to 0.4 away from 1, but in the opposite direction. So we'll change it to 1.4, let me just drag that back on. Uh, and then, you'll, yeah, also remember to do reflect again. See, that has that effect, so it uh, it mirrors the pictorial clip basically. And then I'm going to go uh, with the right arrow, I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then change the value to 1 again. And then this time, change the keyframe. All you have to do is right click on the keyframe and change it to a fast fade. So it quickly comes in uh, to 1. And let's preview that. So that's probably the most basic transition that you can do. Sony Vegas, uh, I hope this helped, and if you're new, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.